Hello everyone, welcome back to Bird As She Wrote. Thank you again for joining me this Monday. Okay, so all right, let's start us off. I know that most of us, a lot of the times, we are used to just rebuying stuff, right? Fast fashion, horrible for the environment. Fast fashion is all we know. Uh, well, most of us know and a lot of times when some we buy clothes a lot of a lot of us Some of us spend a lot of money on these pieces that we buy and when we buy it And let's say if it get torn or it's too old for you because you had in your closet for some years Or let's say if it's shoes and the bottom falls out. We just like toss it. Let's get a new one and I'm of I've been I am guilty of it. I've done it in the past and like I'm a one there's this shoes that I have these DKNY shoes. Hold on, let me get it for you. So I have these DKNY shoes. I got this um two years ago and I love these shoes. I wore this thing to death. You hear me? Like to death. I wore it so much that the bottom, like it wore out and I was just like, dang, I don't want to throw this shoe away. I really, really love it, and I want to keep it, but I didn't know what to do. I'm like, I can't throw it away. I need to keep it. And then it's like, it clicked in my head. I'm like, wait a minute. I could get it fixed. I could go to Shoemaker. I could go to one of these people, and they could fix it for me, and I could have my shoe back, you know? And a lot of times, people don't even know that Shoemakers exist. A lot of times, people don't forgot that we actually have Shoemakers that actually fix shoes and make shoes. But I went to the Shoemaker, <laughs> He put a new tap at the bottom, fixed the wearing out, and literally, it's like I have a brand new shoes. Like, and I was just like, oh my gosh, how many things? I mean, there are some things that got ripped, like my Levi's jeans, because Levi's, their quality is not the same, where it ripped, and I took it to a seamstress to resew it for me. But there are so many things that you can get fixed, you know, instead of having to re rebuy it and like one it's not good for environment and two it's not good for your pockets i mean for me to rebuy shoes that look like this like that is over a hundred dollars and for me to fix it was seven dollars and i got me a brand new shoes again so it's like before you throw out your old clothes or you throw out your ripped jacket or your ripped jeans or your worn out shoes Take it to a shoe shoemaker. They could fix it. Take it to a seamstress. They could fix it. You don't have to go out and spend money to buy shoes again. You know, even like recently, I need to wash my coats, right? And I was like, okay, let me take it to a dry cleaners and wash my coat. I mean, let them um, wash my coat for me because they're dirty. But then I realized, like, okay, I'm gonna spend like forty to fifty dollars for them to wash my coat. And I used to do this in the past. I would buy my own wool detergent and wash my own coats and it's clean and new like i will go to dry cleaners and i know some coats will say dry clean only oh, potato potato i do myself right because a dry cleaner stuff because if they can't wash it so if it cannot be washed it makes me wonder what the dry cleaners people doing are they spraying or something because if they're just spraying or something i'm spending fifty dollars then they're not really doing much. So whatever spray that they're using to spray it, heck, I could get my own spray and spray my own thing and save my money. So I got the Laundress, the Laundress Wool and Cashmere Detergent. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't used it yet. In the past, I've used Wool Light. So that will be my first time using it. When I use it, I'll let you know how it works and if it's worth the twenty dollars for that sixteen ounce bottle. I think sixteen. I might be exaggerating. It might be bigger than that, but I will let you know how it works. I will let you know if I like it. But I know it's like a luxury detergent, but I just want to try the wool version to see how it is. Because you spend a lot of money on your stuff. You kind of want to not cherish it, but you kind of want to take care of it so it can last you longer. Because if you're spending buku money on the, even when you go, if, even if you shop at Zara, not that I, can, I support I support Zara because I used to back in the day, but they're horrible. But, and the quality went down. Oh gosh, I'm not even going to go into that rent. But if you, Zara is not cheap though. So you spend that much money on your stuff. You want to take care of it so it can last you longer. So, um, it was just a, this video is really just a reminder or, you know, like a little bulb in your head to let you know that, hey, instead of throwing away your clothing, instead of throwing away your shoes, you can actually take it to a shoemaker or a seamstress to get it fixed. You don't always have to buy a new one. And, um, that's something I totally forgot about because this day and age, we don't do that. We just buy new ones. And I'm just like, wait, I can get it fixed. So lately, that's what I've been doing. I have been fixing my pieces. I've been fixing my clothing, my shoes, so I don't have to repurchase. And and I wish I did that with these boots, that this riding boots that I have from Steve Madden, back when they used to make great quality um, shoes. 
and I had those boots for 10 years. You know, over time, winters, the the, the sole and the snow goes in, so it messes up the bottom. I could have gotten it fixed, but I didn't, and I threw it away. I cannot find shoes as great as those boots were, and I regret throwing it away. I wish I still had it, but just food for thought. Fix what you have. Keep reusing it until it is done. Until your toes are poking out. Okay, maybe don't wait till that when it gets that bad. But just fix your stuff and use it and get your money's worth, you know. It's good for you. It's good for your pockets. It's a good practice. It's a good discipline. And it just helps you to be appreciative of what you have, you know. And a lot of times we lack in that. We always complain, but we don't have those, we don't have that. But let us appreciate, appreciate what we have because it could have been worse. And um, also it's better for the environment. If you... Google and do your research on how fast fashion and all these dyes and stuff that goes in our clothes and messes up the ocean and the creatures that live in these oceans. It's just, it's not good. It's not good for us. It's not good for them. And let's just be mindful of what we do and um, to the environment and um, help in it, help in whichever way that you can. Um, so whether if it's thrifting so you don't have to buy new clothing all the time or fixing what you already have or you know shopping less whatever and taking care of what you have so you don't you don't have to shop more often do so and save and buy good if something costs 150 dollars or 200 dollars but it's great quality and can last you longer do that instead of freaking buying what 20 dollars and 15 dollars every other month or every three months you buy a new shirts because it's not good of a quality so think about that and um let me know what you guys think let me know if it, there's any other practices that you guys practice or that you do to help your clothing last longer or whatever you do to help the environment that i don't know about i haven't mentioned please let me know i would love to get that conversation going once again thank you for joining me Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for returning. Um, I hope you have a great week and I pray that it's a stressless week and everything that you have on your to-do list gets accomplished and completed. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Bye.